everybody welcome to the bad belly i'm charlotte we are back on the road and i thought that today i would answer my first viewer question um i really like questions because it gives me direction and i have a hard time opening up about some of this stuff so if somebody asks me a specific question i find it really quite easy to to answer that. So over on my Instagram, I had someone ask if uh, the FODMAP diet had been the answer to my health problems, which is a great question. Um, but it's not an easy one for me to answer. The short answer is I hope so. Um, the longer, more complicated answer becomes I don't know. And my doctors don't know. My dietitian doesn't know. Um, I'm not in, because I don't have one of the conditions that the FODMAP diet is usually used to treat, um, IBS, colitis, etc. Um, I'm in kind of a unique little category where it may work. I think it is working at this point. Um, the question is, will it continue to work? And they just don't know. Um, we don't know how, we kind of do, we kind of know how badly damaged my pancreas is. We know that there are parts of the head and the tail that completely uh, liquefied, disintegrated, necrotized. Um, but they don't know, it's like with the diabetes, they're not sure if the beta cells that I have left, how hard they're working, how much work they're able to do to produce insulin. And I suspect that it's probably a similar situation with regard to digestive enzymes, we just don't know what the answer is. So all we can do is try and hope that something works. Um, so far, so good. It seems to be working. I'm getting some relief. I'm not in the bathroom constantly. And it's been really nice to know that I've got some foods that are entirely safe. I also feel like um, my gut bacteria must be changing just because things are stabilizing uh, in ways that they haven't before. Like I'm having more than one day in a row where I don't have diarrhea, whereas before I would have diarrhea, you know, many, many times a day, uh, 30 out of 31 days of the month on average. So it, it's a pretty significant change in anybody out there who is suffering from IBS or has um, these types of digestive problems. Um, I know that this diet is also quite effective for people who suffer from constipation because um, if, if you have IBS-C versus IBS-D. Um, but I'm not, uh, I'm not here to give out medical advice. All I can do is share what has and hasn't worked for me. So far, to answer your question, the FODMAP diet is working for me. I hope it continues to work. It's something that I've been told is probably my last chance for normal digestive health. Uh, I would rather not go on enzymes uh, orally just because my fear is that if I stop using my pancreas, if I give it a break and I start giving it the enzymes, that it wouldn't continue to make them on its own. If it doesn't have to work, why would it work? Same thing with the insulin, right? Which was why I was so afraid of being put on Lantus. It just felt like a life sentence to me, which it very well could be given um, kind of what we know about Lantus. And so it's, and what I know rather about my own body. So I'm just hopeful and I'm trying to stay as, as positive as I can. And because I do believe that if I believe the diet can work, that'll give it a better chance than if I go into it thinking that this hasn't got a chance, it hasn't got a hope, and I don't see how anybody can make it work at that point. So, yeah, I'm just staying as positive as I can. I'm still working the diet. I'm down to a week, about a little less than a week, six days before I go see my specialist. So my nerves are still building a bit about that, but we'll see what he has to say. I hope that he's pleased. 
And yeah, that's about it. So I hope that that answers your question over on Insta. Um, if anybody else has questions, I would really love them. Don't worry about minding your own business. Don't worry about it being too personal. I am on the internet talking about my poop. So there's not a lot you could ask me, I think, that uh, I would have a hard time answering. And if it's something I don't want to answer, I won't. So, um, and I won't reveal who you are either to my person on Instagram. I'm going to keep you anonymous. And anybody else who sends me a question, I can keep that anonymous too. So you can PM me if you're over on Facebook. You can comment on one of my posts. Whatever's easier for you. Anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time and thanks for coming along for the ride.